Veolia presents the next phase of the Woodlawn Eco Precinct. The Woodlawn Alternative Sorting and Processing Facility, or WASP Facility, is a key development of the precinct. Waste is directed into the WASP via the Crisps Creek Intermodal Facility. After weighing, the waste is emptied into the reception hall. The material is inspected and sorted using a remote grapple hook and any contaminants that would compromise the composting system, such as batteries and large items, are removed. Waste is then introduced into the BRS drums, which form a critical element of the WASP design. The waste is treated within the rotating drum for a period of up to four days. During this time, the organics are separated from the inert materials and the composting process commences. The drums ensure that the maximum diversion of organics from the mixed waste stream can be achieved. After pre-treatment of the waste within the BRS, the waste passes through a mechanical sorting system comprised of trommels and drum sieves. Magnetic separation using overband magnets separate the ferrous materials for recycling and recovery. The smaller fractions of waste pass into an area where additional mechanical separation takes place and this allows extraction of more organic fraction from the residues. This maximises diversion rates and ensures the compost meets local quality standards. Mobile loaders then take the organic fraction through to the charging hopper. The compost is then conveyed to the fermentation hall using an automatic system designed to minimise the amount of mobile plant and operators. The organic fraction composts during approximately six weeks in the fermentation hall. The Olea's forced ventilation and monitoring systems, called AeroControl, enables accurate oxygen transfer and moisture control within the compost. This system provides optimal conditions for composting to occur. Veolia also uses a patented biocover system called BioCap, which reduces odours from the waste, reducing biofilter costs and improving the amenity of the site. At the end of this phase, the compost is fully pasteurised and ready for maturation. At the end of the six weeks, the waste is transferred from the windrows with a wheel loader. The loader empties into a hopper outside the fermentation hall and the compost is then sent to the open air maturation area. The compost matter is laid out into windrows for a minimum of six weeks and is then further refined in order to meet the New South Wales compost regulation. Refining is the final stage and enables the removal of small amounts of glass and ceramics. The compost will then be used for remediation of the Woodlawn mining site, a heavily degraded and contaminated area, which is the legacy of mining over a period of 30 years. Veolia treats environmental performance and the preservation of public amenity with great respect. Odorous air from the treatment process will be treated in a scrubber and biofilter. Within the critical fermentation zone, the aerocontrol and biocap processes prevent the release of composting odours. The design of the site will allow for the processing of some green wastes. These wastes will be shredded and mixed with the compost prior to sending to the windrows. Finally, all of the water generated from the roof of the building is collected in tanks. The water is recycled through the process and added to the composting process as required. Excess water from the compost process is collected and treated in treatment lagoons and added back into the system. Veolia is recognised as a leader in providing innovative, sustainable solutions and is a bronze member of the New South Wales Sustainable Advantage Program. Every aspect of the facility, from the offices to the design of the process itself, will be built with sustainability as a guiding principle. Veolia are proud to offer this facility to the SSROC Group of Councils, incorporating, as it does, best available technology for the mechanical biological processing of household wastes. Veolia Environmental Services, leading the way in sustainable solutions.